I bet at least one lesson in this last half term you've been sitting in class and thought, what am I doing? Why am I here? I don't understand anything. I'm not enjoying the subject. I don't want to be here. Because everyone is, I promise you, that is a completely normal feeling to be having after the first half term. Maybe it was in the first week, maybe it was in the first few weeks, maybe you got the first few weeks sorted and then that feeling has slowly, slowly crept up on you and you couldn't quite work out what it was and then maybe all of a sudden it hit you that, what am I doing? Don't worry, it is completely, completely normal to be feeling like this. There is such a massive jump between GCSE and A-level and as teachers, because during your GCSEs we're so busy teaching you your GCSEs, we don't really have any time to prepare you for the jump to A-level. So don't worry, everyone is feeling like this and I promise you it will get better. Now I know me promising you it will get better doesn't actually make it any better in any way at all. So we need to start thinking about some practical strategies that you can employ, that you can use to make it get better quickly. So the first thing you need to do is remember that you are the most important thing in this situation. That you looking after yourself is the most important thing that we need to do. So we need to start working out ways that we can look after your mental health. Whether that's um, scheduling in some time to see your friends. Maybe that everyone's so busy sorting out work and revision and work experience, thinking about UCAS that you, you're not, just not doing this anymore. This is really important, you still need to do that. Or maybe you're being told by people at home and your teachers that you can't have a social life anymore. You can. It is really, really important that you spend time with your friends. Maybe we need to start scheduling in time for you to think about active strategies for you to help with your mental health. Whether it's things like doing mindfulness, whether it's things like doing a bit of exercise, whether it's things like giving back to the community and doing some volunteering. That will help you with your mental health, it will get you away from your studies, it will give you different things to, to focus on and it will also look really good in your UCAS application form. And then once we've sorted that out, we need to think about ways that we can improve how you're feeling in class and we can need to think about ways that we can improve um, the way that you're studying. So I want you to think about the way you were feeling, maybe kind of like Christmas last year, maybe kind of like February half term last year, just as it was coming up, just as the, the reality of GCSE was dawning on you. Um, and you're kind of like, oh, we want to avoid that feeling next year. We want to avoid that feeling in year 13. So. I know it's a lot and I know you're really, really busy, but for every hour of contact time that you have with your teacher, you're going to be set some homework. And then on top of that, I would expect a student of mine to be doing an equivalent amount of independent study. So if your lesson's an hour, an hour's worth of independent study. If your lesson's an hour and a half, an hour and a half of independent study. And in this independent study time, you need to divide it up different ways. You need to make sure that the content that you're going over now, you know really, really well. So we're talking about making any flashcards that you need so that we can use them in year 13 for revision. We're talking about getting different textbooks, getting different workbooks, getting different exam papers to go over the questions. To make sure you can apply what you know in class, what you've practiced in your homework, that you can apply it in an exam. Even if your teacher isn't providing those for you, I would expect a student of mine to go out and buy those, to get those from somewhere, to download those from the internet. That you can go to the exam boards and download all the papers and try the questions. That you can go and get a different textbook or a different revision guide to the one that you've been given in class and try the questions in there. Now I know I'm asking a lot of you here and I know some of you will be kind of like, I was all right at GCSE, don't worry, I'll be fine at A-level. And I see this attitude a lot, that people who kind of coasted by a GCSE, they're the ones who are in for a massive shock when they get to A-level. Because I know some of you didn't need to work very hard at GCSE, and you got good grades, and you got onto your A-level course, and now you're having to work hard, and it's a shock. 
The students that do really, really well at A level are the ones that worked hard at GCSE, who are the ones that are used to working hard, who are the ones that are getting their heads down and focusing and putting the hours in and putting the slog in. I know it's hard work, I know, I know it is, but a levels getting the grades at a levels is all about the amount of work that you put in so let's approach this sensibly right from the start think about the hours you have available in the day think about the hours you have available in the week do you have to allocate time for looking after people for working for doing this for doing that and then make yourself a timetable now I know I've been saying this for years, I know I have, and I know some of you did that for GCSE, and I know some of you are kind of like, yeah don't worry I can do it. It is so much more important now to have a timetable than it was at GCSE, because the demands on your time, the pressures are much higher than they were at GCSE. So. This video, look after yourself, please don't feel too overwhelmed. I'm going to say overwhelmed at all because I know this time of year is overwhelming with everything that's changed, everything that's different. Try not to feel too overwhelmed. Try and find some strategies that you can use to look after your mental health and please write a timetable.